Folks, if you haven't figured it out by now, I am making chicken soup. I'm going to chop up some celery. I'm going to dice an onion. Folks, next we're going to chop us up carrots. Okay, I've got all that together in a big Ziploc bag. I'm going to go ahead and stick it back in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put it into the crock pot with the chicken. We've got a few chicken breasts here. We're going to let them thaw out. Folks, if you haven't figured it out by now, I am making chicken soup. I've already showed you a couple of the steps and we'll go back over those, but there's no proper way to make chicken soup without your mother. Right? Yeah. What do you, what do you turn need? Turn the oven on. Turn the oven on. We'll turn the oven on. But, <laughs> okay. She didn't want me to show her. She wanted the scissors, but I just had to let everybody know that you cannot make chicken soup the proper way. I mean, you got to have your mother's help because what kind of chicken soup would it be without mother's love? <laughs> okay. So, that being said, we're going to get to the next step. The next step is to turn the oven on. I'm going to put it on because uh, the oven doesn't work quite as well as it should. Okay, so what temperature are we looking for? We're looking for 350. 350 on bake. Okay, and we're going to um, get our chicken. Our, we thawed out the chicken breasts and we're going to bake those for how long on 350? Uh, an hour and maybe 15 minutes because they're pretty good size. Okay, depending on how See thick how they are. See how big they are? Well, they're pretty, I think they're all pretty big these days. Well, Depending these, on how you buy, I guess these are fresh. They weren't frozen or whatever. I froze them. Oh, I know you did, but some that you buy frozen in the bag and you know, I don't know. No, but these, these were big. These, these were nice were ones. These were not frozen in the bag. These were some good ones. These have the bone in them. So for, for the soup, um, I'm going to use two chicken breasts baked ahead of time. She's going to use the third one that you see um, her put on here for something different. Actually, there's already been a video made about what she's going to make. If you'll look that up, I'll put a, a link up here or up here or at the end of the video there will be a, a card or whatever you call it for making uh, chicken chow mein. That's what that one chicken breast is going to be for. But those other two are for my soup. So we're going to uh, put these on the pan and throw them in the oven and cook them at 350. Yeah. For about an hour and a half. An hour and 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. So. All right. While we have a nap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, folks, it's time to take the chicken out of the oven. I believe it's cooked. It's been an hour and 15 mm -hmm. minutes. We've got the oven. Uh, we got the, not the oven. We got the chicken. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excuse me. So here we go with the chicken. So we're going to let it cool for a minute. A few minutes. And then after that, I'm going to uh, shred it. Or actually, I'm going to take it and put it in chunks so I can add it to my soup. But I'm going to let it cool off a little bit before uh, I can do that. All right, folks, we're going to take our chicken and we're going to chop it up into chunks. Folks, to get all the goodness off of those chicken bones, I'm going to cover them, just barely cover them with water in a large saucepan. I'm going to bring them to a boil, and once they boil, I'm going to turn the heat down to a low simmer, and let that simmer for about an hour or so to bring all the flavoring, uh, all the flavors out of that, and uh, also let the rest of that chicken fall off of those bones. And then I'm going to uh, throw away the bones and use what's left for um, my soup. All right, folks, that's been boiling and then kind of simmer, uh, a hard simmer now for about an hour and a half. And I'm going to uh, 
stir it up real good and remove a lot of that stuff off of the bones and um, I'm going to I need to cool this off before I put it into my crock pot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three cans of Swanson's chicken broth with 33% less sodium Woohoo! okay folks I've boiled my chicken bones now show the bones this is what I'm going to do go ahead and go down here what I'm doing is I'm straining my bones the, the broth that I've made I'm going to strain it through a strainer to ensure that I don't get any small pieces of bone into my broth so what I've already done over here is I've taken most of the bigger bones out and gotten a lot of the small pieces of chicken off of it and now I think I'm ready to take the rest of my broth and just put it through my strainer. I think you're way too close. Let me have the camera. I don't want this thing to tip over. Let me have the camera. I think you're way too close. You're, you're not showing them what's going on. Okay. Now I've got this stuff left in here. I can go through that with my fingers and make sure there's no bones. But what we're doing here, folks, is we're getting our base, which, or you could call the uh, the broth, right? Yeah. To the soup. And who's making this soup? You. This is my idea, right? It's your idea. This is my you, idea. You, you did my all recipe. All I've done everything by myself except she helped me with cooking the chicken and uh, pulling it out off the bones. That's. That's about all she's done. You did all that. I cut all those vegetables up. And uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and process this meat the rest of the way because I, do, I, can, I don't have dental insurance and I can't afford to bite down on the bone. I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, folks. The stock is ready for the vegetables. I've taken my vegetables out of the refrigerator earlier so they could cool off because I don't want them to be too too cold as they go in there. I want everything to kind of be a, a room temperature as it goes in. So I'll put all that goodness in there. I will turn my crock pot to high and now I'm going to season with some salt, pepper, garlic and some other stuff now you season yours to to however you like it I'm gonna use salt pepper garlic some paprika some thyme and a couple of bay leaves okay folks keep in mind that my chickens already cooked and before I get ready to put my chicken in later I'm going to cook some rice to go in here with it you're probably wondering what I was gonna have noodles or or what I, what I was gonna use but I'm going to make chicken with rice. So the lid goes on here. This is going to cook on high for all day. <laughs> no? Oh, it's going to be on high for a couple hours. Then I'm going to turn it down to low and let it just stay on low. The broth in the cup in the fridge. Yep, I sure did. All right, folks, I scraped this off of the pan. This is all the goodness that I scraped off the pan that the chicken was cooked in, on in the oven. That's all the juice from, the, from cooking the chicken. Now, let me scrape the rest of that into there. I'm not going to get that fat that's, there's a lot of fat that's stuck around the edge of where the top of that gravy was. I don't want that fat in there. So that's that, folks. We'll be back uh, later with the next step. I'm going to put that lid on there and let her cook. Chicken soup on a nice rainy day. Folks, after two hours of uh, running on high, I checked and tested my celery and my um, carrots and it didn't seem to be cooked enough for me 
So I am going to continue to let the crock pot stay on high for another two hours to see if I can get this um, celery and carrot to cook down a little bit better. Well, we got to put the pan on something. Put the pan over here, that's fine. Okay. But I need a cup, but I don't want onions and celery. What and kind of cup? Oh, you want a cup of the stuff? In there. And then all right. I'm going to throw the rice in. Folks, we're cooking the rice. Hang on a minute. Let me, let me get in here. Folks, we're cooking the rice. And we're going to, uh, this is instant rice that we're going to, let me make sure I'm recording even. Okay. We're going to uh, throw one cup of instant rice into how much? A cup. One one cup of broth. Broth. So instead of just using water for our rice, we think we've already got enough broth. We've got too much broth. So we're going to uh, get one cup of, of oh, this is one cup? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I didn't not know. the whole thing. Almost the whole thing. Does it matter if there's an onion or two in there? No, I get, well, I don't know. I'd rather not. Uh, so we're going to use a cup of broth. Is that half? If it's half, dump it no, in. No, it's not half. half. Okay. I'm trying. I've never done this before. I haven't either. Jeez, I'm still not good. Yeah, my finger's in there. Oh, now that's a cup. Okay, dump it. You agree? Yeah, it looks like it. You, I just cooked my finger for a, a second. A hair more, a hair more. You want a hair more? Well, there's yeah. a couple hairs off my knuckle that are in there. Okay. Is there a hair more? No, it's not. Too much? Yeah. Don't dump it all in there. Is that good? That, don't dump it all in there. Tell me when. Less? Yeah. Okay. What do you want? A spoonful? I have a hair. Jeez. What do you think a hair means? Well, a hair compared to a cup. I don't know. Now. Now she's going to do that. that. I'm going to cover this back up. And she's going to just let that sit there and soak in that hot ass water. I'm going to put cold water over my hand. We'll put some more in if we need to. Oh my God. I'm burned. I burnt my hand. Poor baby. That's my hand, the finger that I hold my spoon, my soup spoon with. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Mom, you have to eat all this soup all by, by yourself. yourself. Oh God! Wrong. Uh, anyhow, folks, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook this rice. How long are we gonna do it? I don't know. Look, there's our cat. Ten minutes or something. Yeah. The neighbor's cat, actually. See, but I love him just like he's mine. Stay on here. Instant rice, anyway. Just follow your instant rice package because they're all different. And uh, yeah. We're going to do that. We got our chicken out of the refrigerator and we're going to let it get to room temperature before we insert it into the soup. So this is kind of a different... Five minutes. Five minute rice. Okay, well... Is all it's supposed to Let the rice do for five minutes in there. Why didn't we just put it in the crock pot? That's why pe people are asking right now, why didn't we just put the rice into the crock pot itself? Because if I have to take more broth out, because it's because the rice recipe, the recipe on the box of the rice only requires a certain amount of liquid, not this right. much. Okay, there we go. And That's if why I need to put in more. Then I'll have to make more rice. Okay, and I don't want to fish through the rice. Well, we've only got about three inches, two and a half inches of pan left before we're full. So. We got that's to consider displacement of rice and chicken. That's why we took some out. Okay. Good deal. We'll be back, folks, when we get to the next step. <laughs> you think we'll be able to eat tonight, or is this going to be... Oh, you'll be able to eat. What happened to the blind? You'll be I, able to eat tonight. I knocked, to, I knocked on the window for the cat to yeah. try to get his attention, and I. that's how I did the blind. What happened the, to my salad? The blind got stuck like what that. Your salad, your salad is right here on the counter. The salad dressing, I said. Mom, tell them goodbye. We'll be back in a minute. Goodbye. Folks, as y'all may know by now, I've been working on this soup for two days. 
Yesterday I cut up all the vegetables and uh, got all that ready and cooked the chicken and shredded it and got that ready. Today, this morning, I started with the uh, broth and the vegetables and that's been going, it's, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon now and that's almost ready. The vegetables are almost cooked. Now I've just got my rice going. I'm going to see if that's enough. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough rice. I may have to cook some more rice but I'm going to give it about another two hours before I put my chicken in because my chicken's already cooked you see. So this pot of soup has so far taken two days to cook. <laughs> it's going to probably take three or four days to eat it. Mm hmm and it's going to be good. I think the longer it simmers the better it's going to taste because all those flavors are going to blend in together. Mmm, that's going to be so good. Okay folks, now I'm going to put the chicken in. I have uh, got my rice ready because I took a cup of broth out and made my rice with it. But I'd just like to let you know that just in case I took another cup of broth out in case there's too much chicken and too much rice because I don't think my pot is big enough. Not sure. We'll find out. Folks, this is the first time I've done this. This is an experiment. But I've got a bunch of good breast. <laughs> I, got, I only got two breasts as does everybody. But I've got some good chicken breast meat here and I'm going to put this in my soup bowl and let it cook for a little while. So let's do that real quick. We're going to have to do it slowly so it doesn't like splash all over the place. Uh, that's not going to work right. I will uh, use a big ladle so I can just drop it in there nicely. And uh, when I'm done with this, I'll be back with the next process, or the next step. Folks, I have just put the bag of chicken in that we cooked yesterday. And what do you think, Mom? A lot of chicken. That is pretty thick now. Yeah, I'm going to put the... Why don't you put the rice in now and put the broth back in because... I don't think we're going the to broth anymore. that we took out. Yeah. Well, go ahead and do we'll, that. We'll see. Go ahead and do that, and we'll uh, just it's record not, that. What is that? That's the rice that we okay put in before. We should have put some of that dirty rice in there. That's another recipe, huh? I don't know anything about how to do dirty rice. Well, it's rice is rice. Now, well, do you think there's enough rice? You, you take a look and see what you think. Well, let's see. I can't tell you yet because you don't have all of the broth in there. And you don't have all the rice in there. I know, but... Put all the rice in there. Can't you... Put, put every bit of the rice can't in Can't you have an idea? I have an idea that... what when I you have look a, at it My idea it. is don't waste no rice. So put the whole pan of rice in there. And that'll be good. There we go. Mmm, looks good to me. What, you think that was too much rice? Just one cup? One cup of rice That's for... That's all I ever do when I do it. I know, but how big is this but crock pot? I don't usually have this This crock much. pot's like five gallons. I don't know. No, it's probably only a gallon, but, two, a, gallon and a half. I don't but, know. I don't have this much chicken in my stuff. Oh, it's going to be good, though. It's going to be some nice, thick chicken soup. Some hearty, Do thick... Do you see enough rice at this point? I'm no, going mean, to have to get closer. But I'm going to have to get closer. Well, check it out. And I don't have my glasses on. I'll put the... Go, we'll no, go put ahead and put the... Uh, broth in. Go ahead and put the broth in. That way I can check the right. um, real continuity. 
or whatever you want to call it, the thickness of the, uh, there we go. Now I can actually give my real opinion. Do you have my glasses? Why would I have your glasses? Well, they might be somewhere. I don't wear them. Yeah, they're right there. You just turned around. They're right behind you. I didn't see them. Sorry. All right, let me look. Uh-oh. What? No, let's check. Don't do it. I thought it was a piece of bone, but it wasn't. You thought I it was one of those floaty noodles okay, that kids looks, play in the pool with? This looks good to me. I, it looks good to me too. Let me take a look at it because I'm like, like I'm too far away. I can't see it. Oh my god! I think if we put more rice in there, it's probably gonna uh, no, it's gonna more. soak up too much of the. Uh, I think that's enough. Mmm. Don't you? I think that it is. I think you can put it on low. Now. Delicious. Well, we haven't tasted it. <laughs> we don't I, I, I mean, but but, but from, I mean, just as you consider, if you look at it, liquid to a uh, solid matter. Thickness ratio. We <laughs> probably got not we, now that now we, now that we put the uh, rice and the chicken in there, we probably don't have enough broth. We can always <laughs> add broth. Yeah, I know. If we want to. Wow, that looks so good. You want to take a taste? Yeah. Let me take a taste, folks. Is it too hot? Well, it might be because it's been boiling. Well, let me take let me take this one. That's good. You take a taste. Well, hang on. Let me get you on a taste. Uh, yum now. Take a taste of it and see what you think about my first pot of soup I ever made. You made some years ago, didn't you? In uh, not, not like this. You know, it's going to taste... She didn't exactly react. It's not that great. I'm sorry. I, I understand, but you realize that as okay, it sits, though. as it sits, it's going to get better tomorrow. As it know. sits, it's going to be better. Right. Okay. So what would you say it needs? Uh, I don't know. It was a bit hot for me to. A bit hot. She didn't like my have. soup, folks. I didn't say I didn't like it. She I, said. I said. <laughs> what did you say? It could be better. It does suck. It needs more salt. It's bland. All right, salt it up, Mom. I'm afraid to do that. I don't. Care. I don't. I'll do you it. You know, neither one of I'll us is it. supposed to have much salt. I don't care. It needs salt. And I used sea salt last time. This time, I'm going to just use. Kev, don't don't go over it with the salt shaker. Salt what? Box, please. Why not? Well, let's do a little at a time. I'm going to do if, a little at a time. If we need more, we can add more. If we don't, I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit over the top, just enough to cover the top, and we'll see how that goes. If you don't like it, then you can add more to your bowl, right? As you eat it, right? They didn't even see me put that in there because I had the camera pointed wrong. Oh, well, that sorry. sucks. Anyway, I didn't do that much, folks. You want to taste it now again? No, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to take a while for that salt to soak in. Wouldn't okay, you figure? I suggest that we turn it down and put the lid on. It. Turn it down. Yeah. Leave Everything it. Leave it. Cooked. Leave it up. Oh, Everything you think everything's cooked? So why, why leave it uh, on? Well, give me a taste why? before it. Give me one more taste before you. You want to do it yourself? Yeah, well, it don't matter. You're there already. I don't need that much of nothing. I want, yeah, that's what I want the broth because the broth has most of the seasonings in it. Take I don't know about that spoon. Off. Is that a silver spoon? It was. Let me get one into time. the camera range. I'm gonna put that big piece back in there. What I'm gonna, big piece? That big piece of chicken. Oh. And I'm gonna grab a, a piece of celery. And uh, you think this is stirred up enough since we just put that salt in there? Yes. 
That's a great looking bowl of soup though. I'll tell you what. Alright, let me try it. Here, you hold the bowl and I'm going to try it on video for everybody. Ooh. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Ah. I got a, I tried to get a little bit of everything in there. Here, can I have it? I'm going to try it on camera so y'all can see. Now, she didn't like it when she tried it. I thought it was okay. I didn't say I didn't like I it. I did too. I, I thought it was... Just okay. I thought it was kind of bland. I thought it needed more spice. I thought it needed more salt, to tell you the truth. But Obviously. I might look like to put some sriracha or oh, some cool. other spices in there to make it a little bit, you know. Well, do that in your own bowl, maybe. Not that tastes fine to me. Hot. That tastes fine to me. It's better now since you put more salt? You think? <laughs> you think the salt got in everything that quick? Yeah, it does. You put enough in there. It's only in the liquid. All right, now you try it. On ca Hold, wait a minute. Let me get the camera on you. Let me see if you could tell a difference. Give it a try. Ready? I'm ready. Is it better? Uh-huh. It yeah, is? It is better. Ah. It's, it's pretty good now. But is that flavor going to absorb into the chicken and the rice? And then maybe we'll have to add more later? Mm, we might. We'll see. Okay. After it's done cooking, folks, we will check and uh, see if we have to add more flavor to it. You may have to add more flavor to it. I will make a bowl of it and I might add some Tabasco sauce or maybe even some sriracha. And tomorrow I might have a bowl with curry powder sprinkled all over it. You never know. You can add different flavors to your bowl to make it different from the whole pot right. of uh, soup. You know, to make it suitable to your likings. You want to unload, you want to keep it warm. Keep it this one warm. Okay. All right. We'll be back, folks, when we eat. Okay, folks, everything's been added to the soup. We got the rice in there. We got the chicken in there. And everything's men mended together, melted together. And uh, I've turned it on just low. And I'm going to let this simmer on low for about two more hours. And have a nap. And I'm going to get up and I'm going to chow down. And as you can tell, I'm losing my voice again. Mmm. Alright, folks, it turned out looking like this. The rice and the chicken really soaked up a lot of my broth. Y'all ain't going to be able to see this, but this is what a bowl of it looks like. Mmm, yummy. What you think about it over there? Delicious, delicious. She's already done with her bowl, folks. I didn't eat it all. She like, yeah. It. She liked it so much. She's already way. She's way done way before I am. I so. even want some more, but I'm not gonna because it's <laughs> get too fat. She wants some more. Anyhow, I, I want some more. Folks, thanks for watching. This is my chicken soup. It turned out wonderful. Happy holidays. And I think it's going to be better tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.